Hello and welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. My name is Greg Johnson and this is a part two video of a Ford Focus 2009 model uh, review. There were a few features that I didn't uh, touch upon in my first video and I wanted to point those out right now. Um, in nighttime driving, it's kind of handy to have, I'm going to show you down here, there are LED lights uh, placed around the interior of the car. That one that you just saw there was down by the gas pedal. And you can change the color of those lights. So uh, if you want here, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how that's done. So here again is the bright light illuminating the foot pedal area. And there's my, my foot down there. Um, I'm going to change the color. You can see you get red. Uh, or orange, what is this? Yeah, red, blue. Anyway, you can kind of cycle through those and get whatever color you want and then turn that off. So um, anyway, it's kind of a handy feature. It also puts light on the, the drink holder area and the passenger side as well gets some uh, lighting down by the floor, which is nice. And another feature that uh, I'd overlooked in my previous video is that this uh, version of the Focus and I don't know, maybe it's kind of standard equipment, um, but this one has the Cirrus uh, satellite radio right here. You can tune into that. So anyway, when you go to satellite radio, uh, you get your choice of, I don't know how many channels, probably a hundred or something, of advertisement-free um, pure music or news or whatever you want that's topic-based. It's kind of nice. So you can, if you're on a long road trip, you can basically listen to the same... Uh, news or music or whatever you want from one state to the next and not worry about stations coming and going. And uh, the other thing, I don't know if I mentioned it before, I guess I did get that in my first video, that there there's a sunroof in this uh, particular model. Um, and also down by the, uh, the headlight control, I'm going to show you that here, there is an option to have fog lights. Let me just show you here. So you turn the lights on as usual. When you pull this knob out like that, this lights up here, and these are uh, sort of fog lights or running lights. Uh, it's, it's a bright light that's closer to the road, which typically, um, you know, if there's a layer of fog on the road, often that layer of fog on the road is maybe a few feet above the road, so it's going to blind you if you have your high beams or standard beams on, um, but a light that's pointed a little bit lower to the road may give you some additional uh, visibility that you might not otherwise have. So that's that's a nice feature. Um, other than that, I, I think I did probably get everything else in my first video, so I just wanted to add those few extra points. And uh, again, I'm just you know really impressed with this Ford Focus. I think Ford has really uh, taken things up a notch with this car. It's a relatively small car. It's, it's kind of an economy class vehicle, and yet at the same time it offers some uh, luxury features that are both uh, for pleasure and also for safety that uh, I think are real valuable. So um, anyway, if you get a chance to you know check one of these out, new or used or whatever, test drive it, I'd say it's worth you know considering. You've got to look at your own. Oh, one other thing, um, the seating in this car. That was something I forgot. Similar to if you saw my review of the VW Bug recently, this also has the ability, at least for the driver's side, not for the passenger side, but it has the ability to raise and lower the driver's side seat. And upon raising, it kind of lifts the seat and moves forward a little bit. So it's ideal for all um, body, si body types, body sizes of people. Um, now I've lowered it and moved it back, so I'm really comfortable in here, about six feet tall. And uh, But also for smaller drivers, you can really bring the seat forward, lift it up, and uh, that makes it a very uh, functional car for a wide range of drivers. So anyway, once again, I want to thank Enterprise for the rental vehicle. Uh, it's great working with Enterprise. They're very quick, courteous, professional. They've got a lot of cars, actually, that get 28 miles per gallon or higher. Uh, so they're very environmentally conscious. And um, <coughs> just to put in another plug for rental cars, I really think it's kind of the way to go, you know, it's like people don't own a forklift, you rent a forklift, and for people these days that are not driving to work every day, you know, if you're taking the bus, riding a bike, or for me, I'm walking three blocks to get to the office from Monday to Friday, I don't need a car 
um, all week long. So there are a lot of people who could really benefit from, rather than owning a car, which regardless of how far you drive that car, it puts an impact on the environment, um, rather than owning a car, just rent one when you need it. And uh, that'll really reduce your carbon footprint. So uh, that's about it for now. This is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com. Thanking you once again for tuning in. Take care.